This is a tutorial to get you started with creating walls in duck storming. So let's get going. First let's click create and click create a wall. This will open up the create wall dialog. It's pretty easy to get going, you just need to give it a title. So let's call this a test wall. There's several other options here, so I'll explain those more in other videos. Let's click add. Here we now have an empty wall. You can see here there's a little bit of a hint to say how to get going. Here's the colour select, here's add image, and here's a list of all the participants who are currently involved with the board. If the name is green, that means they're actually actively on the board. Let's close this for now. So to get going, you need to create some cards. You can either do this by double clicking, or just typing. You can see that once a card's created, subsequent cards appear underneath it. So now we've got a bunch of cards. We can select them all, move them, we can select them, change colors. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do with cards. Let's add an image. So to add an image, you can either click the add image button or double click and click on the image icon in the bottom left. Let's select an image. I've selected the image and I can optionally give it a title, change the color of the card and then upload. Okay, now this image is in the board. Okay, now we've got a few cards on the board. Let's see what we can do with these. Selecting a card and dragging it onto another card turns it into a cluster. You can then add more cards to that. You arrange the cards within the cluster and add the image card. Once cards are in a cluster, you can double click and that collapse the cluster and it'll tell you how many cards are within that cluster. Double clicking again will expand it. You can also cluster cards within clusters. So once that's in there, you can then move that around. You can expand and drag other cards into that cluster. Let's remove these. So you can see just through this, we've got a bunch of interactions. There's much more things you can do with this, but this is just an example. On top of this, I can resize cards. So let's take this card. Actually, let's do the image. Click, resize. You can resize and move it about as how you want. Once it's sized, or any card, you can lock them in place. Once they're locked in place, they can no longer be selected. The final thing I want to show is connections. So clicking here, you can connect. You can then connect that to something else. Changing this color will change the connection. So let's connect it again, just to change it. That should overwrite it. And once in place, you can move these around and they'll always stay connected. If you want to unlock cards, you can block all the cards. Now they're free to move around and connect connections to them. Okay, so that's just the really simple video I wanted to show to get you going with create, working with walls. There's lots more to it, shortcuts, things like that, but I didn't want to overwhelm too quickly. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.